So as you guys have already know, what is the title of today's video? Tire rotation. Now tire rotation is generally a topic which people usually forgot or ignore and sometimes they usually don't know what tire rotation exactly is. So in today's video, I'm going to tell every details of the tire rotation for front wheel driven cars, rear wheel driven car and four wheel driven car. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the video. So first of all, let's start with front wheel drive cars. So this is your car, for example. So these are your tires. So in front wheel drive cars, both of these tires, this, uh, this is the front end, no? Or, uh, and this one is rear end. So these, uh, both of these front tires, this comes to the rear as it is. Right one to the right and left one to the left. Okay. So your left wheel straight goes to the front side of the right, uh, right <coughs> corner and your uh, right side rear wheel goes to front side left. Got it? Front wheel directly to the left and rear wheel cross to the left. Okay. This is for the front wheel drive cars. Now let's come to the rear wheel drive cars. Rear wheel drive cars are totally opposite to front wheel drive cars. What you, we did in the front wheel drive, we have to do exactly opposite in rear wheel drive. So in rear wheel drive, the front wheel exactly goes so the rear wheel goes exactly in the front, this to there, here, and that front wheel comes in the cross direction. This one comes here and this one comes here. Got it? The rear wheels in the rear wheel drive car exactly goes in the front and front wheel goes in the cross direction in the rear. In front wheel drive cars, the front wheel exactly come to the rear and uh, the rear wheel goes to the front in the cross direction. Got it? This is the basic concept of the tire rotation in front wheel drive cars and in rear wheel drive cars. And in four wheel drive cars, you can do wherever you want that uh, front wheel, rear, rear wheel, front, uh, any wheel in any direction, doesn't matter where it goes, it's all same because of the four wheel drive cars. Now a question arises, what about spare tire? So as I do and as I prefer to do, use a spare tire, a tire as your spare. Suppose a rear right tire got punctured. Use the, your spare tire as a spare in this area whenever you got time. Replace that original tire with your spare tire and keep your spare tire in case of emergency. When we have to do that tire rotation, usually every car have their service duration in 8 to 10,000 kilometers. So you can change, you can have your tire rotation in every 10 to 8,000 kilometers. That's fair enough. If the servicing, uh, if the servicing interval of your car comes in five to six thousand kilometers, then you can have your tire rotation in that period of time. No problem in that too. You can have your tire rotation whenever your service comes. You can do that. Uh, you can do your tire rotation on your home whenever you like it. On 5,000 km, 10,000, 12, 13, 15, whenever you want, you can do on service centers or you can own this. But just keep that in mind uh, that you fix your pro tire properly. Now, what is the point of having that crisscross pattern on the uh, driven wheels? The driven wheels always wear faster than the non-driven non wheels. The treads of the wheels have a wear and tear of the rubbers and the treads faster as compared to the non-driven wheel. So it's always better to have your tire rotation in crisscross manner as I in the pattern of this or this as I told you. So to avoid any kind of mishappening on the road. You can have the maximum life of your tire just by having the tire rotation in the following manner of your car. 